Hey, what's up guys? Philip here bringing you another video. And in this video, we're gonna be setting up the OKX USB-C docking station in my new desk setup. So I've been doing a little bit of cleanup and I figured let's set this thing up and make the desk setup look a lot cleaner than it's already been. So this docking station is gonna be really useful for me because if you've ever purchased any of Apple's later products like 2015 plus, most of their ports are USB-C. And if you have something like a external hard drive, a SD card reader, or maybe you want some external monitor setups, you can't really do that with just the, the Apple laptop and that's it. You're gonna have to purchase something like this USB-C hub, which has a few ports and it's kind of limited in terms of its features and functionality. But if you want something more serious, that's kind of like built into your desk setup, you're gonna wanna purchase something like this. And this is gonna be a docking station that is a little more permanent than this. This thing is still nice for traveling and whatnot and it gets the job done but this thing is just like the next level version. So this docking station is really cool because you don't really have to purchase any additional cables or adapters or anything like that. Everything that comes in the box is pretty much all you're gonna need. It's gonna come with an additional USB-C cable that connects from your laptop to this thing. And then it's also gonna come with a power adapter and you're not even gonna have to use your MacBook uh, power adapter that it comes with. So it really uh, tidies up your space and a lot less cables running through your setup. So my guess is the way most people probably install a docking station like this is they put it on their desk and they run the cables to their laptop and call it a day. However, with me, I wanted to take it a step further and install it into my desk, more specifically under my desk. The reason I want to install it under my desk is because I want to clean up my desk space and I also want this hub to be really close to my computer chair. So in order to install this thing under your desk, all you're going to need is some Velcro tape and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to run you through the steps on how I did my setup. So the first step you're going to want to do is put some Velcro tape on top of the docking station. I'd recommend putting them on the sides that way you have more stability. Step two is plug in all your cables and just make sure that all the cables are long enough to reach where you want to actually install the station under your desk. Step three, once you find out where you want to install it, I'd recommend getting a pen or pencil and making some marks on where you want to place the other Velcro tapes under your desk. Step four, stick the tapes under your desk and then mount the docking station under your desk and it should hold up to 10 pounds of weight or at least with the Velcro tapes I was using. If you want to use the ones I'm using, I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. And then step five, this one's optional, but I'd recommend it is doing some cable management. Once you get all your cables under your desk, I'd recommend purchasing some sort of cable solution or maybe some cable ties. I'm using the Ikea Signum cable rack and this thing's pretty cheap. It runs me like 20-ish dollars and it screws into the bottom of your desk and it basically holds all of the cables under your desk and I really like the way that it clears up my desk space. So if you're interested in this rack, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to that below as well. And that's pretty much how I installed this thing under my desk. And what I really liked about this uh, docking station is that it really cleared up my desk space by like quite a bit. There's practically nothing on my desk except the laptop, the monitor, my keyboard and mouse, and that's pretty much it. Like I said earlier, I was using this regular USB-C hub and it definitely got the job done and it worked fine. I just didn't really like how it was limited in ports and I just wanted something a little bit more serious. So I decided to get this one here. However, this thing is still useful if you're doing things like traveling and you need like your SD card reader. The regular MacBook Pros don't have an SD card reader, so you're definitely gonna need something like this regardless. So if you already have one of these laying around, don't feel bad about purchasing a dock because this thing is still gonna come in handy when traveling. So with all that being said, if you are interested in picking up this docking station by OKX, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below on where you can purchase it. And if you wanna know what's happening in the tech world, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll keep you in the loop. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. See you next time. Thank you.